Jed here to demonstrate how to manage your account billing information in Grasshopper. You can download invoices, view minutes used, view and edit payment information, or view and edit contact information. You must be an admin to complete this task. You must also have a paid account. Trial accounts can be managed once they have been upgraded. Trial users will see an Upgrade Now banner at the top of the main page. If you are a nonprofit company, or believe your account is tax exempt, you'll need to contact support. Begin that process by going to this site. Once there, search for Manage My Account Billing Information. Then click on the article with the same name. Here are the steps needed to contact support and a list of the documents you'll need to send to them. Now let's move on to managing your account billing information. The Grasshopper Admin Portal can be accessed to this site. I've already signed in as the Admin Ryan Noble. Begin by clicking the Settings text. Then select the Account tab. This is your account billing page. Here's where you can see your current plan and switch to another if desired. If you upgrade your plan, changes will take effect immediately. If you downgrade your plan, changes will only occur on the next renewal date. For monthly plans, that means the next month's bill date. For annual plans, that means on the yearly renewal date. Here you can see the minutes used for your current billing cycle. Here is your current credit card information, which must be current to ensure proper billing. If changes need to be made, click the Add button. From this section, ensure that your contact information is correct if Grasshopper needs to reach you. For security purposes, customers cannot change the contact name on their account. If you want to change that, you'll need to contact support, and you can follow the steps I listed at the beginning of this video to do so. You will need to provide support with information and documents when wanting to change the contact name. I've included a link in the description for what you'll need to have ready. You'll be asked for your customer ID number if you need to contact support. If checking your messages and settings over the phone, you'll need to know your primary PIN listed here. If you want to change that, type in the desired code. Any changes you make will automatically be saved. Here's where you can find your previous invoices. Select the desired month, and then click the Download Invoice button if you would like to download that document. That's all there is to manage your account information in Grasshopper.